If you're looking for coins for FIFA 17 Mobile, the new FIFA have got you covered for the previous version and the newer version as well. Use the code TVM to get yourself a discount at the checkout. Link is in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. How are you all doing with the brand new update that was in FIFA Mobile that in my opinion has just broken the whole thing and I don't want to play it anymore? Maybe a step too far, but as we go into our first live event of uh what is it the game changes i've actually been sat on about five game changer tokens for uh for the best part of two weeks waiting for another game changer live event to come back on they just don't come around that often so i managed to get myself the tokens needed in order to complete the plan to get the player along the way i think i actually managed to pack a player in a pack where i was just meant to get tokens well i know that you can get other things but uh yeah, we managed to get ourselves... That was the session one. I waited for a couple of hours for it to reopen. Then I got myself uh, Kalulu. Not a great striker, to be fair. Uh, so probably never going to use him. In fact, I know I'm not, but there we are. This is all recorded before the update. Just want to point that out. All before the update. So all the chips and stuff like that. They obviously still work then. And that's why I'm still chipping goalkeepers left and right. Managed to get a game changer pack here. Opened that bad boy up. And we pulled Musonda. Now that guy, like if you're looking at it, you know, 75 rated. Not the best. Is a little bit less than actually uh, Piaka, who we've got from Juve. But he does have the, uh, the 86 dribbling, the 89 acceleration. He's got five star skills as well, which doesn't really come into play that much in FIFA Mobile. Because he only does one skill moves. Uh, skill move but it is the rainbow flick which is obviously the flick over the top of the head so it does come into effect later on in tomorrow's episode where we use it a couple of times and my god is that effective but um yeah so as we play out our league tournament uh game or you know the league v league we're actually building nicely in the league right now we're going to be opening up a uh, uh a league uh league masters pack i think uh, at some point the the gameplay has changed so for those of you who've only recently downloaded it since the official release you won't know any different but the gameplay has completely changed the finesse shot looks a lot better now which is which is great you can curl it around the keeper with ease uh, but the the chip in the goalkeeper op that existed uh, just a few days ago is no more unfortunately a lot of people say it was nerfed a while back i've never really noticed anything different about it it's always been overpowered and just ridiculous but now it's uh, it's down to where you can base you basically just can't use it at all you cannot lob the goalkeeper anymore unless he's way off his line it's, it's a little bit frustrating i can see why they've done it it makes sense they obviously are a big fan of the channel they watched the video and they've uh, they've taken it out of the game which is is okay i suppose i have found another fairly effective way to score it's not as good as the chip but it is fairly effective i'm going to test out a little bit more and i will share it with you very shortly should it become as effective as the chip so speaking of the chip we, we really should make a montage of chips and just put like a really sad James Blunt song in the background. But uh, I, I'm going to refrain from doing that. We get Goodmanson in our pack uh, for the top transfers. Not the best. And this is the um, the Mobile Master event, obviously, where we can get that 99 Royce. We got ourselves a Mobile Master Live Events token, which is uh, something that I've been working towards. We have one more to do, which means I need to do probably another like 100 and something uh, live events. But we'll get there. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Voice break. Isaac27, mate. You are a legend. Thank you. Thank you very much he sent me a beginner pack uh, from the league if you are part of the league all you have to do is just send me the pack and i can open it but obviously you can do that for anyone you don't have to do it to me you can do it for your mates you can do it for your, your mum if she's playing it it is only a beginner pack so you aren't guaranteed or you're probably not going to get anything good but a silver player and two bronze players definitely go towards the plans in order for me a to complete a set number of plans and to get trophies i can sell the trophies or use them or whatever this is the uh the scouting live event where we can um we get you basically that's the new finesse in fact this i think this this is the new gameplay that's the new gameplay definitely because they've changed this as well even that is is uh, is different now you um if you swipe too fast the ball just rockets over the bar which it never really i mean it did but it didn't really do it before the update you have to really launch it if for that to go up and over the um up and over the bar we managed to get our scouting token though i've gone for the world talent pack there was a left-footed sibling rivalry and uh, world talent i think something along those lines but uh, the world talent one is new to me i haven't seen that before so i thought hey world talent it has to be someone i know right and if, if it's someone i know then i'm happy so we spin it around and we get Lionel Messi. no wait what do we get a bottle of beer crumb who the hell is that i've never even heard that guy get a haircut you bum let's move on 
from that absolute travesty of a world uh, talent pack and go into another live event and hopefully get something a little bit better out of the uh, second top transfers pack that I managed to do. This footage is basically taken over two days of casual play. Uh, normally what I'll do is I'll sit there for a couple of hours, um, well, sit there for an hour and then do what I can in that one hour and then I'll have a little break, allow the energy to refill and have another go. This is just casual play over two days because I didn't have time to edit last night. And there we go, we get Servi, which I know sells for about two or three K, probably doesn't at the moment to be fair because there's so many people playing this game right now, but still he goes for a little bit we managed to complete the league v league uh, master pack thing obviously for completing the tournaments we won yet another one we're on a four win streak at the moment in fact we may be on a little bit more you have to find out tomorrow if we um if if we're in uh if we if we've won another one that's what i'm trying to say it was, someone sent me a message i was trying to read it while recording very unprofessional one bronze player two bronze players we are guaranteed a mobile master token in this three bronze players i was kind of thinking that we were guaranteed maybe uh, at least two gold players that's the mobile master league token that's great we needed that can we get a gold player please yes we get uh, banali but can we get one more gold player no we get a bronze right back. Great. Love it. Um, I saw someone yesterday, in fact, I think it was Pumpy, who's a part of the league, who got a Dortmund badge, which sells for about 15, 20 K. And he got himself a mobile master token and a gold player. The team right now is all over the all over the shop. It really is. We put Musonda in at left mid or left wing. And I, I don't want to use the 3-5-2, um, the I think it is, formation anymore, where we use two strikers. Uh, because it, it's affecting the way that I attack. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I want to use Vasquez, who is my cam, but I can't use him in any formation that involves just one striker that I, has three at the back. It's very frustrating, but it, it means that I'm in a, a situation now where I'm actually still using the informed Dos Santos up front, and I'm not using Vasquez, and I'm not using like Remy. So the question is, do we sell Vasquez and like Remy and improve the team in areas that we're going to be using this formation. Because this formation is the one that I used originally. And it's the one that I, I like and I'm comfortable with. I do enjoy it. But as you can see, the defense is perfect. You know, we've got three elite center backs. We've got the very high or reasonably high rated goalkeeper with 78. I don't think we need to improve that anytime soon. So should I sell Vasquez, which is my cam, my elite cam, that I will probably no longer use? And should I sell like Remy? I mean, I'm more than happy to keep like Remy, to be fair. I, I kind of want to keep him and maybe chop and change him with Dos Santos. But I think Vasquez may have to go because at the moment he is just a, an elite that we're never going to use. And that is a problem. That's just wasted coins. Should I sell him? Let me know in the comment section down below. A lot of you let me know before. But now it's a serious question. Should I sell him? And who should I replace him with? I may be looking to someone to replace in the center mid role. So basically just sell him and then buy a center mid and replace maybe uh, uh, Bryson or, or much or something along those lines. Let me know who I should buy. I probably have around 100k. And player prices have plummeted since the game came out. So we could get someone very sexy. So let me know down below what you think of that whole situation. Smack the like button if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, goodbye.